it's time to create our footer area let's take a look at our design first we just complete header so this is our footer area so now uh, start creating footer let's copy the text from here and also this one is uh, let's let's create the below footer first to create and design our footer area you have to change the view from tablet to desktop version and go back to customizer and then create or click footer builder here and this is our below footer area let's change the background color to black color and change the copyright click copyright design and change the color here the text color should be i think it's white color yes and the text transform should be uppercase yes it's working and it's done well now let's create the above footer so if i just take a look at my design the above footer it looks like this so by default the above footer if i just select there is three column i can select one column here and then i can insert so let's take a look at here i can insert heading i can insert um, other heading here even though i can insert the subscribe uh, newsletter subscription box here there is a menu and social icon so first of all you have to understand uh, how it works and uh, how the gutenberg works basically here i'm using the gutenberg editor as well and i didn't install the spectra yet but we'll be installing later on so let's go to the customizer and select widget click here and click got it let's add heading here paste the text i copied it's called newsletter subscriptions the font size 24 pixel and the font family should be h4 uh, well so let's change our global typography to see how h4 24 pixel looks like so by default it's 24 pixel so I'm, there is no need to change it let's go back again the footer builder and click widget and here you can see the design options I, I want to display the text at the center to do so click on design and click here to make it center well now um, go back to the editor again and here there is another text it's h2 which is 48 pixel and let's hit enter select heading so if you're not familiar with the gutenberg please note that i have a complete tutorial default gutenberg editor that's very important because if you want to use wordpress let's navigate if you want to use wordpress for yourself or your client you have to understand the gutenberg which is default gutenberg not the um, other gutenberg editor first of all you have to learn the default gutenberg so if you haven't watched this video 27 uh, videos that i have uploaded here if you haven't watched them then please watch them and learn the gutenberg in your free time but you can continue this video as of now because there is nothing uh, in depth i'm going to gonna share with you but you can follow them it's a basic here now let's reduce the space between them so first of all to reduce the space i have to make them group and as you can see there is a less space here to customize the widget so in that situation what i'm going to do i'm going to publish this one here let's view the shop page it looks like this and uh, because there is less uh, space here 
so as of now i'm going to navigate the widgets from the dashboard appearance and then widgets and here scroll down here you can see the footer widget this one so i'm gonna use uh, this here so that i can uh, use them and utilize them properly all the features so i'm gonna make them to group from my keyboard i'm pressing i'm using mac and i'm, I'm pressing the shift key i'm not sure how it works on windows and i'm going to create them a group right click or you can just click here and click over here so i don't know why it's not selecting yes from here you can make them group so i just group them and now i can reduce the space by selecting the group here you can see on the right side block spacing let's make it if i add one it looks like this if i add two it's increased the space let's make it one click update and reload the page and see as you can see it reduced the space a lot right and let's take a look at our design so still there is some spacing so you can use custom value here let's click here on this customizer icon and the one uh, spacing here i have selected the one so the one value is 4.4 rem so at this moment i would like to use 1.3 rem you can change the value to pixel percentage and vertical height and width as well so that's so useful there are lots of useful features it looks not great let's make it 1.2 rem and reload so guys uh, there are some background noise in my video because uh, there is a uh, educational institute behind my house so i would like to request you ignore them and I, I was trying my best to reduce the background noise in my video but sometimes maybe uh, it may be distractive i do apology and uh, so hopefully uh, i'll try my best <laughs> okay so now uh, i have created this section here and now let's reload here in the customizer it looks like this if i take a look at my design there is a subs uh, subscription box here so i'll create them later on when i use uh, creating form or when i'll be adding a form plugin in my website now let's create the footer menu so to add the footer menu you have to navigate to appearance then click on menus and create a new menu called footer menu so i have created previously that's why all of them are visible here if you do not see inside your server then you can add a name manually and then add a menu here so for the footer menu i'm going to add privacy policy refund policy and uh, terms and condition frequent last question and return policy so i haven't created those page yet as of now that's why i'm going to use custom text so why do they added so many here well so add custom link here let's add um, return okay uh, privacy or uh, terms and conditions hit enter and now type here if a qs frequently asked question so let's use this four menu as of now and add footer menu click save menu and go to customize open footer builder and then click here and here you can see footer menu add them that's it and take a look at the design it's black pure black color and also there is a background color here which is gradient color let's change the background color first 
so to add background color on a specific row inside footer builder you have to click on this cog or gear icon so if i want to change the background color here it will be changing on below footer if i change it here it will be changing on primary footer now click on after clicking on cog icon it will display the footer menu here click on design and click background color here you can see the gradient color now it's time to change the gradient color click here and take a look at the first color here let's click the linear color and here is our first color let's copy and paste here and there is another color this one let's copy and paste here well now it looks like this so we have changed our footer color add some padding top and bottom inside your footer area to add some padding top here i'm just unclick here then add a padding top let's say 70 pixel and the padding bottom 70 pixel you can increase more let's add 120 or 10 pixel and add 110 pixel at the bottom it looks like this change the footer menu color click on footer menu go to design and change the link color to black color and on hover i'd like to use this dark color yes it looks perfect so you can add some spacing or margin top here 30 pixel it looks perfect so now let's add social icon here to add social icon click this one and take a look at our design it looks like this close this one first from here facebook twitter linkedin uh, instagram and linkedin so the gradient also i think it looks not similar i have to change the position let's click on design or background i can change the position here i think it looks perfect now well and let's change on social icon color and social icon style facebook twitter instagram and let's add linkedin well okay so now click on design change the icon color and the background color the icon color is black and the background color is white border radius and also it's rounded let's see the background color white color and the padding the border radius okay spacing great now the border radius should be 50 percent it looks much okay so now icon size should be little bit little bit higher okay that looks way much better and i think i should reduce the spacing a little bit and the icon should be a little bit lower that looks great now on the hover color background hover i can add this color and the icon color on hover it should be white color so you can add also official color but as of now i'm not going to use the official color and the menu if i click here i can add some margin bottom as well let's add 30 pixel it looks great now so that's all from my side for footer we will be adding this subscription box later so hopefully we are ready to go in the next part which is the responsive footer let's click on publish and view the footer first 
it looks like this so now let's create our footer mobile responsive